so far we have not received any uh, official notification from uh, Felda with regard to the LLA. So it is it is still uh, status quo as what we have uh, mentioned before. But we have uh, wrote to, to Felda to say that any further development on this issue, uh, we will we will uh, make a joint statement uh, should there be any further development. Uh, but as of now, we have not received the official uh, notice with regard to uh, the LLA. In a virtual press conference during the group's third quarter financial performance on Tuesday, Haris Fazila said the LLA only governs the estates that are on a 99-year lease to FGV, while the group owns the palm oil mills. He reiterated that any discussion or interest in the mills would have to be on a commercial and willing buyer-willing seller basis, as the mills are not governed by the LLA. However, Haris Fazila explained there has been no discussion between FGV and Felder on the latter's plan to acquire acquire the meals. In the meantime, when asked on the price tag for the meals, he declined to give any specific figure. Price tag for the meal? Okay, so I think this is subject to evaluation uh, that needs to be done and um, we, we have to, to do a, a market uh, valuation. But today I would say that if you want to build a new meal, uh, roughly for every metric ton is about 1 million. Yeah? So if you're talking about a 60 tonner uh, metric uh, meal, then it will be about 60 million per meal, uh, uh, roughly. Haris Fazila said currently the FGV group have 68 mills in Malaysia, which are key to its business. He added the LLA land only reproduced about 30% of the fresh fruit bunch that the mills processed while another 70% of the actually from the settlers as well as the third-party suppliers.